here I think there's a, a bit of a bifurcation between what the hyperscalers do and then what the rest of market's going to do. So if I look at what the hyperscalers are doing, you know, certainly they're they've got the the skill and the will to 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 do a lot around you know programmable smart NICs and um, and, and the question is going to be does that does that continue down market? I suspect we won't see the same level of programmability. Um, but there's a, a kind of an orchestration problem that has to be solved really around lifecycle management for the infrastructure that gets pushed out into the server. One of the challenges that the, the hyperscalers have overcome is in diverse environments. They have to handle, you know, multiple, um, you know, multiple DPU vendors, multiple server vendors, environments that require, you know, somewhat contextualized technology. What the market's screaming for, for broader adoption, is to solve that and handle lifecycle management, orchestration, policy, and control in a uniform way over an underlying diverse environment. Um, so that's that's what I think needs to happen. And frankly, from like a Juniper perspective, that's right in our wheelhouse. I mean, we've always been about you know open standards. We've always been about interoperability. In the data center, I mean, we acquired an entire company around multi-vendor policy and control, and essentially we continue that um, kind of core principled push towards uh, you know multi-vendor diverse management in a in really a uniform way. That's what we're building around our edge services platform, and so we look at you know players like Nvidia as an example, and we think that they're you know ripe for partnering because we can solve the operational problem that serves as a hurdle for the things that they're trying to move down market for mm -hmm. for their solution and for really the, the DPU and, and SmartNIC solutions generally to see adoption. I mean, if there's anything we've learned from, from this particular space, it's that if we can't solve the ease of use, the operational challenges that, that really drive adoption, what you see is kind of technology promise unrealized. What we're trying to do is essentially solidify that, you know, using our, our edge services play. Um, and I think that's going to, I think it'll serve the market quite well. You know, obviously it plays well, you know, in, in environments like 5G and where, where some of the telco cloud services are there. Um, I imagine that those security mm -hmm. use cases will have broader applicability and we're super excited about bringing that to market.